My name is Kelvin Do, aka DJ Focus. A wife, a wife. It's the youngest DJ, DJ Man Focus. He's taught himself how to do incredibly intricate things with very, very little resources. I'm from Sierra Leone. And I love inventing. When you think about setting up a radio station, you're thinking about having a whole lot of cash. And you're right, because according to a study, it cost about 50 million naira to set up a radio station in Nigeria. Now, that's a whole lot of money. But what if I told you that in Africa, in the country of Syria alone, there is a young boy who set up a real radio station from scratch using the materials he got from a garbage dump. Who is this boy? How did he do it? You will find out in this video. My name is Chikwemeka and I love to tell the real African story. Today is the eighth day of the protest here at Lekki. One Africa project was created to inspire, educate and unite all the people of African descent through history, culture and travel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the inspiring story of Kelvin Doe, aka DJ Focus a self-taught engineer who taught himself engineering from the age of four and has built a lot of things including a radio station a white for short soundtrack done by innocent a born union artist in free town Syria alone in a small community town called wozak farm there you will find kelvin doe also known as dj focus from the age of four Kelvin began to pick discarded electronic items from garbage dump to build small things. Yes, I, I usually use this, this um, place to, to collect scrap materials and do my inventions. <sighs> Due to the failure of the government in different African countries, electricity is still a huge problem. In Sierra Leone, we have not too much electricity. Lights will come um, once in a week and the rest of the month dark. But while many of us were busy talking about the problem, Kelvin Doe was looking for a solution. At age 11, he built a battery-powered power station to light up the homes of the people in his community and also to light up the entire neighborhood. So I made my own battery to power lights in people's houses. Okay. By now, you're wondering how he went on from lighting up his neighborhood to becoming a DJ. Here's the story behind it. Out of his curiosity and ingenuity, he built a music set. With his homemade music set, he was hired by the people in his community to perform as a DJ on different occasions. And he gave himself the name DJ Focus. I want you all to say DJ Focus. DJ Focus! DJ Focus! DJ Focus! Because of the experience he has gathered as a DJ in his community, he began to conceive the dream to play as a DJ on popular radio stations. But because of his background, his dreams was most unlikely to come true. So one day, at the age of 13, Kelvin decided to do something crazy. He decided to build his own radio station. <laughs> okay, I know this sounds insane, but as they say, it is the people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world that actually change the world. If we have a radio station in my community, the people can be able to debate about issues affecting our community and see alone as a whole. So, Kevin got to work. From one garbage dump to the other, he foraged for discarded electronic items. 16 months later, from these items, he built a transmitter, a mixer, an antenna, and also a generator to power his radio station. The generator supply current to the radio station. This is the capacitor, and this is the spark plug. 
Kelvin had done what no one has done in his community and he was on his way to fame. He was featured on national television. He got a scholarship. He won an innovation competition. He met with the president of Harvard and also became the world's youngest visiting practitioner at the prestigious MIT. Um, we use this as a power cable. Okay. This was a microphone wire converted to a power output. I got the, the cable from the dustbin. <laughs> Digital focus, alright, broadcasting all the way near Amagosti. <sighs> all of this happened several years ago. Today, Kevin is 24 years old and now lives in Canada. He has chosen to remain in Canada because of the socio economic condition of his country. And you didn't hear that from me, you heard it from Kelvin himself. Now, and what about you personally? Because uh, you said you wanted to return home to Sierra Leone at some point. Do you see that happening in the near future? Um, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, part of the reason why um, I'm not in Sierra Leone at the moment is because, um, is because of the political and, and social, you know, environment in, in Sierra Leone. You see, during the slave trade, most of our best brains were forcefully taken to the new world as slaves. These brains built some of the biggest civilizations we know today. For example, the son of an enslaved African, Benjamin Banneker, was one of the people who designed the city of Washington, D.C. And when it comes to entertainment, everybody knows the great Michael Jackson, the irreplaceable king of pop, who traced his roots back to every coast, and so on and so forth. Now, that was the first brain drain in recorded history in Africa. Today, Africans are no longer forcefully taken. Thousands of skilled professionals from different African countries willingly leave the continent annually in search for better working conditions and remunerations. It is estimated that 2,000 doctors leave Nigeria alone annually in search for a greener pasture. Nigerian-born Salas Adekunle is known for creating the world's first intelligent gaming robot. He is currently the highest paid robotic engineer in the world. But guess what? He doesn't live in Nigeria or practice anywhere in Africa. Right before us, the second brain drain is happening. And that is where you and I come in. It is our responsibility to elect Afrocentric people-oriented leaders who will create a viable environment for our best brains to thrive and remain on the continent. Because if we don't, the brain drain will continue until there will be no more brains to drain. But for now, remember that a young boy from a small village in Syria alone with no resources built a real radio station. If he can do it, then you can also do something amazing. As an African, there's greatness within you. Go out there and make Mama Africa proud. Thank you for watching. See you next time.